the potential for the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade, Democrats in North Carolina pushed today to put those protections into state law before that happens. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight. And Michael, Republicans say they are not pushing to pass any bills dealing with abortion until after the election. Right, and that's even if this decision comes down while they're here in Raleigh. I talked with one, one woman who came here today who told me about her own experience with having an abortion and how this imminent decision has been weighing on her. A critical Supreme Court decision on abortion access could impact people across North Carolina. Ileana Santien spoke from firsthand experience. The traumatic experience wasn't having my abortion. It was all the from people that I had to deal with about it after. She spoke to me about that decision she made about 20 years ago. I don't regret having my abortion. She now has a daughter who knows about her decision and worries herself about Roe v. Wade potentially being overturned. More and more people really understand that it's not like you're an evil person trying to do something horrific. You're a human being who has the right to live a life with dignity. On Wednesday, advocates met with state lawmakers as Democrats pushed for a bill that would put the protections of the Roe v. Wade decision into state law. It's not about us. Most of us in the General Assembly are over 65. We're not going to bear any more children. <laughs> right? Am I right? It's all political theater to file a bill like this in the short session. Tammy Fitzgerald is with the NC Values Coalition. We believe that viability is uh, just an arbitrary cutoff date to make uh, people feel better about abortion, but women don't need abortion to succeed in life. Republicans say they won't pursue new restrictions on abortion this year, knowing that Democratic Governor Roy Cooper would veto them. Democrats say it puts added focus on this year's races for the legislature and the state Supreme Court, as this decision could impact the state for years. When I've asked, Republican leaders have not said specifically what they would do if Roe v. Wade is overturned, only saying that the issue will wait until next year as they try to get their veto-proof supermajority back during this year's election. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.